Hey guys, CK here and it's World Badminton Day on the 5th of July and to celebrate this happy day I'm going to share with you how I got started with badminton and why I love badminton so much. For all those badminton fans out there, this day should certainly be a holiday for us all, right? It's easy to think that growing up in Malaysia would already be badminton crazy, but I wasn't. Growing up, I was crazy about Formula 1 and basketball, and it wasn't until I got to university that I went completely nuts with badminton. I think it did help that I was a huge fan of Lee Chong Wei, who was already a superstar on the world circuit. We were both from Penang too, so there's always an indirect connection. I was certainly a proper fanboy back then and was super happy every time he won and was very sulky when he lost. Hashtag biased. To make matters worse, one of my housemates in uni back then was also a huge badminton nut, but he was a Lin Dan fan, who spent hours almost daily analysing and arguing why each player was better and scour online about the latest and greatest badminton equipment there alongside what each of the top players were using at the time. Additionally, we were also already recording ourselves playing back then and looking back at it now, it is pretty funny. <laughs> I only realise it now whilst I'm preparing for this video that the amount of badminton related images and videos that I have already recorded on my phone and computer back then must have been a sign for things to come. You can certainly see the backstory to the content that I'm creating on my channel now. I also have to add that along my badminton journey thus far, the badminton community I have met have been absolutely incredible. The love and support I have received at every stage of my badminton journey, as well as the people who I have met, many are now very important people in my life. From playing six days a week, to joining a badminton club, to playing my first match for my university, to playing in a 24-hour badminton charity event. The more I am exposed to badminton, the more I love it. And I remember watching my first pro tournament, which was the All England in 2010, where Lee Chong Wei beat Kenichi Tago in the men's singles final. That got me completely hooked on how amazing this sport is, and how different it is in feel compared to the camera angles from TV. If you're wondering who's that at the 2011 All England final, yep, that's me. Which means I was already on YouTube before I was on YouTube, and I've been very fortunate that I've been able to watch a fair few of these amazing classic matches, such as Lee Chong Wei vs Lin Dan, live in the arena. This also includes the second final in that same year at the 2011 World Championships in the UK. The amazing Peter Gator vs Nguyen Ten Min quarterfinal match was another one that stood out in my memory. Coincidentally, it was also around then that I started to speak to the stringers such as Mark Lawrence, Alan Kakinami, Tim Willis, alongside the Marks, Goodman and Lever over the years who were all very kind to me and gave me plenty of time every time I spoke to them. It was great that I got to see some of them again earlier this year at this year's All England. All in all, it's really amazing watching Pro Badminton live, the sounds and the speeds are incredible and I thoroughly recommend it to everyone to try it at least once. I promise you it's good. If you don't fall in love with badminton after watching top end pro level badminton, something's wrong with you. Badminton has been a big part of my life and it has given me so much and that's why I love it so much and will continue to do so. I hope you guys will join me in celebrating World Badminton Day by going out and playing some badminton or catching up on some amazing badminton action from BWF's YouTube channel or live at the Malaysian Masters this week. Enjoy and I will see you in the next one.